this December. Two songs. One journey And does he return? Introducing The Christmas Specials Hi guys, it's Adam and welcome to another video So in today's video we are going to do the rest of the Doctor Who figures So just a little quick reminder Obviously I paid £120 for all the figures you're about to see and a few from the, the previous video as well. Hopefully, I'm looking at about £350, uh, £350 back. Um, obviously, that is just turnover. There's fees and postage and the rest of it to come off that. And also, I've just realised I've got another box of figures, which is from the same lot um, in the other room. That obviously, they're kind of the odds and ends that I didn't know whether would bundle up well and all the rest of it. So there will be some money in them. Now that I am actually accounting that in the three hundred and fifty pound, but I just did, I, I forgot to actually bring it in this room. Um, so even if I even if I only do like mishmash bundles with them, then obviously I can make that up to three hundred and fifty quid. The rest of it, like that, I've already bundled up. I think it came to two hundred and seventy-two or something like that. So essentially, I'll just get get on with it, get through uh, all the items that I've got. I've got quite a lot of items to get through. Um, and we'll hope my voice doesn't go because a minute ago at the end of that other because I'm literally just recording this video straight after the other one uh, at the end of that other one my voice was properly going so I might need a little bit of a break actually and have a sip of tea um, before I continue in a minute um, but yeah so essentially we'll start with the unlisted stuff so that then I can separate that away uh, from the listed stuff and I know what's what um, so essentially anyway yeah so let's get on with these two so first off I've got this little bundle of the Doctor and Donna now I don't particularly know whether this version of the Doctor is the one that would go with Donna because he's not in his blue suit and obviously in series 4 he's mainly in his blue suit um, but to be honest it's a good enough bundle it, it'll do you know what I mean Probably more, this Doctor's probably more Series 2, Series 3, um, and obviously Donna's Series 4. Um, but I'm going to, I think I'm going to go about £10 on them. I don't know whether I'm going to add my postage on or just go at £10, quid, um, because I think at £10 plus postage it might be pushing it a bit for those figures. But certainly £10 free postage with them. Um, and yeah, I just bundle them up together. It's better than them going in like a, a mishmash bundle and, and, you know, not getting as much money, so... Yeah, anyway, so uh, those two I will bundle up. So that's those two. I'll put them down here. Um, so next, another bundle that I haven't listed. Uh, so first off, we've got the face of Bona. I could probably sell this on its own, to be honest, for like... Well, you don't get much for these anymore. I think you used to get like 15 quid plus postage for one of these. Um, so, you know, I could probably sell it on its own, but I th I'm thinking the price has come down a little bit now. Maybe like 10 quid plus postage. But what I'm actually going to do, just to add to the bundle a little bit, and maybe it might add a little bit more perceived value, and obviously then I can charge a bit more, um, is I'm going to add uh, Novice, ha uh, Novice Haim there. Can see her and then Brannigan and obviously in the, in the last video uh, the last episode of Adam teaches Doctor Who um, I told you that obviously Brannigan and Novice Haim and obviously the face of Bo were in the episode Gridlock so this is a nice little Gridlock bundle and obviously a good thing to do is put Gridlock in the title so I'll probably do them and I don't know 15 or 20 quid maybe for the bundle there it really depends I'll do a bit more research I'll see if there's any existing bundles that people have put together with these uh, you know in the sold listings and see what they got um, but yeah you know maybe 15 20 quid something like that so yeah that's pretty cool so next we've got the uh, I think it's the impossible astronaut and day of the moon the, the episodes were called in series six which was a big blockbuster se season that uh you know was over in america and it was meant to be brilliant and all the rest of it and yeah i mean there's a few episodes in there i quite like i mean to be honest i've got a few unpopular opinions about series six a couple of the episodes that a lot of fans don't like i find quite enjoyable i mean curse of the black spot i know people will be like oh god you found that enjoyable but you know i i liked it you know i thought it was all right you know it's just a light episode it was a bit of fun you know and uh, go i think this was series seven actually now we're going into but series seven dinosaurs in a, on a spaceship 
everyone was like, oh, you know, it was, there wasn't much to that, it wasn't very good, it was a bit silly and all the rest of it, but, you know, again, I quite liked that episode. I, I took it for what it was, which was something quite silly, but essentially we've got here River Song in the astronaut suit uh, when she's obviously just about to kill the Doctor, or when she's under uh, Lake Silencio, um, and then we've got the Doctor in his little straight jacket when they are obviously putting the perfect prison around him. Uh, I forgot what it was made out of, but it was a black substance, and the, it fused together when, when um, they were putting the bricks together, it fused together, and it obviously uh, was soundproof and you are you are away from the world when you're in this perfect prison so um yeah thought that was an okay bundle so i don't know what i'm going to price these at maybe like just 10 quid plus postage or something but i'll have to double check on price as i mentioned in the last video i might be quite knowledgeable in doctor who uh you know doctor who in general but i'm not necessarily knowledgeable on the prices of figures yet so i will have to you know i still i'm still learning at the figure side of it and prices um but yeah that's those two I thought it would make a pretty decent bundle. I might need to add to the bundle to maybe push it up a little bit in price, but we'll see. We'll see on those two. Sorry, guys. I just thought I'd add this in there, in here. Um, I forgot these, which are actually a pretty good find. These, again, are in the same bundle. Um, and these are the Silence from, again, Day of the Moon. Uh, Day, yeah, Day of the Moon. Poss Impossible Astronaut Day of the Moon. Um, yeah, so essentially, these are pretty good value. Um, I, I actually didn't realise um, how good value these would be. I, I, I just thought, I tossed them aside really. I thought, oh, these, no one are probably going to really want these. I'll probably just do them as a bundle of four for like, you know, again, standard range of maybe 10 to 12 pound plus my postage. But it turns out that these are worth some decent money. Um, you know, I mean, what I've done is again, I've gone with... Probably not the best route for these, so I may end up having to split these down. But I did do these as a bundle. And what I've done is I've done these for 30 quid plus postage. Now, I'll just show you one, just because I know I'm waving them about a lot, but I've not really shown you one. So these are the silence again there. They basically are memory-proof um, sort of villains. So you look at them, and then you look away, and then they've gone from your memory, right? Um, I, oh, you know what I should have done? I should have been really clever, right? And done a little comedy skit on on this right now, where I look at them and then I, and then I, I end up saying what I'm going to say again. Anyway, I could do that. Right? I could just, it's half free. I've done about an hour of talking about Doctor Who. I've done an hour of talking about rambling on Thursday talks. I'm not in the mood. Anyway, right. So we'll get on with this. So yeah, thirty quid for the four I've gone for. Now individually, depending on what variant you've got, you've got an open mouth variant there, and then you've got a closed mouth variant there. Depending on what variant you've got, depends on the price, but the close, I think it's, is it the closed mouth variant? I think they go for about 12 quid a pop. And then even like the open mouth variant, I think they go for like 10 quid a pop, something like that. So, you know, there's some good value in these just as a single figure. Now, obviously I've done a bundle for 30 quid. Now, I'm, I'd say I might need to split these down because it really, I don't know who'll want a bundle of four of these unless they're doing like, they want to do little like scenes with them or something, uh, you know, on a shelf or something like that. Um, but yeah, I'm not sure who will want four of these. So I might need to break these down, but even if I'm breaking them down, I'll be able to get more money for them because I've done them for fairly cheap in the bundle for 30 quid for the four. If I break them down, I might be able to get like 40 to 50 pounds for the four figures. So it might be something that I do if you don't sell fairly quickly, I'll probably break them down. But yeah, I just wanted to add them into the into the mix. So I apologize for not doing them, uh, them lot. Um, and yeah, I will see you in the next one, guys. So, well, I don't even need to say that because you'll just be continuing with the video because I'm going to add this in, like, partway through the video. So, enjoy the rest of the video. I do a lot of rambling, just to warn you. Right, so next we have got, um, what's this? Last of the Time Lords and the Sound of Drums, I think the episode titles were called for this, which is the Toclophane, which are the human race from, from the future. Uh, the TARDIS basically was turned into a paradox machine by the Master, allowing the human race from the future to be able to come back um, to the past and then kill their ancestors, which, yeah, it's not a very nice thing to do particularly. Um, and then, obviously, this guy is... Um, I forgot his name. Is it Ash? Might be Ash or someone like that. Anyway, uh, I don't know. Maybe it's not Ash. Maybe it's something completely different. But um, he was the little boy who was on the spaceship in Utopia. And when they open it up, obviously Tom Ellis's character and then Martha Jones. Forgot what Tom. Oh no, Tom Ellis's character was also called Tom, wasn't he? 
maybe he was also called Tommy Mietz or Thing as well. Um, but yeah, essentially they open him up and then he, he, he exclaims, um, uh, you know, Tom Ellis' character says like something like, um, oh, well, why, why do you kill your ancestors? And then it just goes, because it's fun or something like that. And I always go, oh, bloody hell, that's a bit crazy, isn't it? But yeah, um, so that's the top of fame there. It's just a completely made up word. They're not even an alien. They're just humans from the future. We've got Martha Jones in her kind of little uh, walk the world outfit, as I like to call it there, where she's obviously walking the world, telling people about the doctor. So that then he can use the... Um, what is it called? The Archangel Network to obviously create a psychic link with him and the human race and he can break out of his cage where he's completely shriveled up and old and use that energy to convert him back to a younger state of, of his life basically. Um, so yeah, that was pretty cool and I loved that scene where the master's like trying to shoot him with the laser screwdriver and he's just coming... Uh, you know, I, I, when I was younger, I was like, oh my god, that scene is so good. Anyway, so we've got those two there and then uh, now, this is all in the same bundle, but I'm just, sorry, focus is gone. Um, this is all in the same bundle. I'm just putting them down to free up a bit of hand space here. Uh, we've got T Captain Jack in the same bundle there, obviously with his nice uh, trademark coat on there. Um, and then we've got the Master. Again, actually has a little uh, laser screwdriver there, which is pretty cool, because as I mentioned, you know, sometimes the accessories are quite few and far between with some of these figures so it's nice to have that little accessory not sure what i'm going to go on this bundle i was thinking 10 pound plus postage you know a standard range but i don't know i might creep that up a, a couple of quid because it does look like quite a nice little bundle but i don't know maybe i'll just st stick with you know maybe i'll just stick with that range i'm not sure but yeah so that's those uh one more set that is actually uh, you know, one more bundle of it I've not listed yet, so I need to keep these separate. So we've got Chip, of course, which is Lady Cassandra. This is Lady Cassandra. I think it's Lady Cassandra. Oh, no. No, not Lady Cassandra. I'm thinking of Lady Cassandra D'Souza, which was on Planet of the Dead, one of the specials. But, no, this is um, this is just Cassandra. It's not Lady Cassandra. It's Cassandra. I mean, she might have been a lady, but... Yeah, I mean, well, she is a lady, but, I mean, physically she's a lady. But, I mean, I don't know whether she had the title lady. Um, but, yeah, she's just a human that has basically had tons of operations um, to convert her into this skin thing because she wanted to be the last human alive. However, in the end of, at the, end of the world, which... This is where we first see Cassandra. Um, Rose is there on the spacecraft and she is actually, the, uh, you would argue, the, the last human alive that's true in, in true human form because how is that really a human? But anyway, um, and then we've got Jane or Jade. I think it's Jade uh, from the forest of Cheem, uh, which basically her ancestors were trees on the planet Earth. And then obviously they must have been somehow export, exported from Earth to another planet and then they were able to develop you know basically uh, a form of uh, conscious being i suppose you know or um what's the word a um i don't know the word for a being that is basically uh, a sentient being that's it so she somehow to be turned into sentient beings um so yeah we've got chip we've got cassandra and then we've got jade and also um we've got the little spiders here as well, which were the spider robots um, that Cassandra employed uh, to basically... Uh, is it Cassandra? Yeah, it is Cassandra. I keep saying it, but I think it's wrong. But no, I think it's Cassandra. But um, she employed to go around and whip the ship apart so that then she could... I think she would, it was some sort of profiteering exercise. She would beam out of there and then obviously the spacecraft would die because these bots had whipped the spaceship across spaceship apart and then everyone on the spaceship would die and then she would somehow profit from that i think it was something like like that the storyline goes um but yeah her plans are foiled by the doctor as always really so yeah anyway there's five of them there's four there and then there's another one here so yeah that episode is christopher eccleston it's the second episode Second episode of the first season of New Who, of course. Next, we have one more classic figure. Uh, oh, I don't know what I said I was going to go for on them. I'm thinking again, like 10 to 12 quid. It's not going to be a lot. So next, we have a classic figure. This is, I believe it's Tomb of the Cybermen style Cyberman there. Um, I think it's Tomb of the Cybermen. It's definitely, yeah, I'd say Tomb of the Cybermen, maybe like Wheel in Space, that sort of era. Um, and yeah, essentially, this has got one little break to... I don't know whether you can see that. That is broken off. See that little uh, bar to the side there is broken off. So, 
don't know how much I'm going to get for this. I think usually if you go for about 12, 13 quid, might might have to just like chuck it on in a little bundle or something and get a little bit of money back in a bundle. But yeah, that's a bit of a shame on that one because it's a nice looking little figure there. Now, these classic Who figures that I'm showing you, it's important to state that the ones I'm showing you are the reissued classic Who figures. These are not the original classic Who figures. There was a lot of original classic Who figures, like by, I think it was Daypole, D-A-P-O-L, and there was, I think there was a couple of other companies, well, certainly Dennis Fisher did, um, the, obviously, the Tom Baker, the iconic Tom Baker. Uh, oh, oh, no, is that Mego? Or, no, I think Mego and Dennis Fisher were the same. So Mego and Dennis Fisher did the whole Tom Baker one. Very, very well done figure. And if you get that in perfect condition with the TARDIS as well, that's really, really good money at the moment. So, yeah. But these are just the reissued versions. So in 2005, when the show came back, they did a full line of figures for the new monsters and stuff but they also reissued or recreated a lot of the classic figures essentially uh, or classic monsters in these figure forms so this is what these are but still they do hold generally these reissued classic figures hold better value even though they are reissued than the new who figures because you know there's a lot a lot more people like classic who i don't know what i mean i would have said a lot more people like classic who anyway so the figures seem to just command more money because a lot a lot of people are looking for them um i suppose it's because generally even the new who fans will go back and like myself i, I was born on into new who essentially um but even i've gone back to classic who and i would say i watch Cla well I, I, I don't even need to say it i know i watch classic who more than i watch new who now so you know i just love classic who so uh yeah essentially that's that one anyway so these aren't necessarily like really old figures um but they are in the classic form you know of the classic monsters so that's that one anyway um so next we've got a few other figures here we've got Rassilon again with his accessory which is the staff of Rassilon there with that you're probably not going to be able to see that to be honest too small but you've got on the staff you've got little emblems of Gallifrey you know sort of the Gallifreyan language in the little you know the cogs and stuff um, and yeah quite cool it's nice to get him with his staff I did see one go for £10 free postage but then when I was listing it I went through the solds again and I couldn't see that £10 plus postage listing so I don't know where it's gone but I've still decided to go £10 sorry not £10 plus postage £10 free postage so I've still decided to go £10 free postage on that little Rassilon figure there it, it, he was played by Timothy Dalton in obviously the end of time uh, it was the narrator for the first episode and then the, i think it was the end of the first episode and then the, the beginning and well most of the second episode you actually saw him properly um but yeah very very good i liked him as well on pretty cool uh, obviously it was just good casting to be honest i thought he was quite a he played Rassilon quite well now. Of course, the writing for Rassilon, for the return of Rassilon and everything, could have been done way, way better, don't get me wrong. Um, you know, the whole storyline and everything, I think it could have been done, uh, for, for Rassilon particularly, it could have been done better or could have been done on a, a, maybe a better, like a grander scale because, I mean, Rassilon's a, a big figure in Doctor Who. You know, to, to, to bring him back, you really want to bring him back, you know? Um, but, you know, I still enjoyed the actual casting and the acting of Timothy Dalton. I thought that was brilliant. So, yeah, anyway, that's that one. I'm going to go for £10 free post, or I have gone for £10 free post. But as I say, I might need to come down on that one because I'm not too sure. Um, so, next, we've still got plenty of figures to go through. Um, so, we've got some, uh, we've got a couple of scarecrows from the family of blood and... You know, Human Nature and the Family of Blood, which were... They were a very intriguing villain because they were one of those one-time villains that are um, just... Yeah, quite... You know, it was quite scary or evil or whatever. They, they were... Uh, you know, they felt quite threatening um, because obviously the Doctor, at first, we, we realised that he might be hiding from the Family of Blood and, you know, to get away from them because they're chasing him through time. Now, obviously, he uses the Chameleon Arch. Uh, I think it's the Chameleon Arch or the Chameleon Arc. I think it's the Chameleon Arch to rewrite his biology and turn him from a Time Lord to a human. Now, I always have a problem with that continuity-wise because, like, yeah, okay, he's rewriting his... You might be able to rewrite your mind to become a human, but surely you'll still have two hearts, right, in the body. You wouldn't... You wouldn't 
like his body, his physicality of his body wouldn't change. So maybe the I don't know. I mean, I start to look into this a little bit more. But maybe the chameleon arch actually only changed his mind to be a human mind, but actually he still had a body of a Time Lord. But I wish they had cleared that up a little bit more because it just said like, oh, it's going to rewrite my DNA or my biology or something. And maybe that does mean that. Maybe that's mean to say it's a complete conversion from Time Lord to human. Um, but I just don't know. I, I need to look into that a bit more. Maybe I'll get a bit more clarity and a, uh, a little bit more peace of mind on that subject. But essentially, we've got Martha Jones figure here in her usual standard sort of companion outfit with a red leather jacket, which I quite like. It's quite a cool little outfit. And then we've got two versions of the Scarecrow. I think we've got a blue one and, yeah, we've got like a brownie one. And so this is like the brownie one with the, with the brown sort of bit of string here. And then we've got the blue one here with a blue bit of string or whatever. Um... And these were basically, well, they were made completely of straw, but they were basically like, a, you know, sort of drones or what, what, whatever you'd like to call them, like sort of a henchman kind of thing, mindless henchmen. And they would basically um, go around capturing people and stuff. And uh, essentially, at the end of the episode, there was a big fight with them, uh, with the boys in the school. And they were fighting the scarecrows who were basically invading the school. So that then the family of Bullard can find the doctor and get the Time Lord consciousness. So that then they can eat it, or, well, you know, feast upon it. Um, and the Time Lord consciousness could keep them going for like another month or two or something. Because their, their lifespan was very, very short. It was only like a month. So you have to eat like every month or something. I don't know quite how it worked. I'm not watching the episode in a while. But it was something like that anyway so um yeah anyway that's the uh, scarecrows and martha jones so again just very standard 10 pound plus post something like that um so next we've got the smilers we're going into the 11th doctor era here with series 5 now to me personally series 5 is probably the uh, 11th doctor's strongest series upon rewatch I actually rewatched it very recently. I've watched it about four, four or five times, but uh, maybe even more than that, actually. But um, yeah, I uh, I do like uh, Series 5. Now, this episode, it's not brilliant, but it's still okay. I don't mind it. It's quite a, a fairly fun episode, you know, it's pretty cool. Um, we've got, obviously, the Smilers here, which are like robots. So I think this one is like a human, slash half human, half robot as well. Um, and these are just the smilers, these are like uh, robot guards, but basically the, the Earth has was dying and they created a spaceship that, that well, they create, all the different countries created spaceships that were to house or, you know, like their country. And essentially we'd be floating through space with a spa in a spaceship that was um, a country. So they'd have each like building on the spaceship would represent like a certain area or so a certain um county of the UK um, so essentially these like smilers when people had done I don't know whether it was just when people had done something wrong or whatever it was but um, essentially some of the children like when the children had done something wrong they would uh, turn like evil turn into this like face here um, and then essentially they'd send them down this chute into the be uh, well not the belly but the like the mouth of um, this star whale, now it's the last of the star whales, and essentially this star whale is power, powering the ship, um, but the humans think that they had to make it power the ship, and it didn't actually have to, they didn't have to actually make it power the ship, it was powering the ship for them, so they were constantly torturing this star whale to make them power the, to make it power the ship, but then in the end it gets resolved, they stop torturing the star whale, and then they realise that the Star Whale doesn't actually get set free, even though we've stopped torturing them, because the Star Whale wanted to help them in the first place, because it obviously wanted to help rescue them from the burning planet of Earth. Anyway, I've gone too much into detail on that one. Um, so yeah, again, just a little um, a bundle there. Again, just standard range, £10 plus postage. Um, so yeah, and then we're getting down to the last few, I think, here. We've got, obviously, the standard Amy uh, Pond figure here, or Amelia Pond, whatever you, whichever you like, really. But I like calling Amelia Pond the little girl, and then Amy Pond the grown-up version, because that's generally what we do on the show. So we've got Amy Pond, we've got one of the Weeping Angels here, which are a brilliant monster in Who. I think, you know, I think in time to come, you know, one, once... You know, once enough time has elapsed with these, I think these are going to be up there with maybe not the Cybermen and the Daleks, but certainly with uh, classic Who monsters like Santarans or um, I don't know what 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 else are fairly high regarded classic monsters. 
I suppose like uh, sea devils, Silorians, yeah, like Silorians, maybe things like that. But, you know, I think they're going to go up there in time and people are really going to respect these even more. I mean, people respect these as they are because they're very good villains. Um, they, they've got a great premise to them. They've been written pretty well in most of the episodes that maybe you know, bar the Angels take Manhattan, but, you know, they're okay in that, but, like, you know, Blink and stuff, when we were written, they were written perfectly in that, so, yeah, that's the Weeping Angel, it actually looks pretty cool, doesn't it, when, when we're, you know, behind that light there on the green screen, that's pretty, pretty cool there, anyway, so that's that one, that's two, uh, two of them are in the bundle, and also we've got in the bundle a River Song there, um, now, again, this doesn't have it, her, her accessory, which is a bit annoying, she should have a little gun, in the other side there, um, but yeah, essentially I'm just going to do them, that is a little uh, sort of uh, Time of Angels flesh and stone kind of bundle, they're the two episodes, um, so that's just going to be a bundle for them, now it's important to say as well, um, I've said that enough in this video actually, but it's important to state that uh, when you're doing these bundles, if you're doing the themed bundles for an episode, put the episode title, if you've got enough space in the title, Put the episode title in the eBay title, you know, the eBay listing title. Because people might be searching for themed bundles around those titles. So, yeah, Time of Angels, Flesh of Stone bundle. And then we've got another little themed bundle of an episode, which most of these... Oh, most of these bundles... Right, one second. Most of these bundles are themed bundles, um, you know, four episodes. We've got little Amelia Pond there, who I was referencing, the little girl who grows up to become... Amy Pond, obviously. So we've got the little girl, Amelia Pond, there. Um, and then we've got the Doctor in his regeneration outfit, or essentially just David Tennant's outfit. Um, and this is the 11th hour. So this is the start of Season 5, uh, which sees the, the, basically the start of the 11th Doctor's run as the Doctor, as the Time Lord. So, um, yeah, essentially we've got him in his regeneration outfit. We've got Amy in the Kissagram outfit, or the police woman outfit there obviously you can see that there um so we've got her there and then we've got prisoner zero which is the basically like the villain of the episode in one respect as well as the atraxi of course who are the aliens who run the prison that prisoner zero has escaped from and they are trying to track him down but in the process they kind of make um an enemy of the doctor out of the doctor because uh, they essentially are going to burn the earth uh, to try and seek down Prisoner Zero. Um, so yeah, essentially this bundle... Now this figure I've seen go on its own for £23. I was quite amazed at that. But then other ones, like the, the same figure but other, you know, sold listings, they've gone for like seven, six, seven, eight quid. So I really don't know on this. I was tempted to, you know, just kind of put this on its own and just leave that on its own but then I thought well I really want to do this bundle first off to see if it'll sell because I think it's a nice little themed bundle that someone might enjoy so essentially that figure I really don't know on it might be you know an eight nine ten pound figure or something or it might be you know a 23 pound figure so I thought to myself well you know what I put these four figures I was just going to do 10 pound plus postage on these to be honest but then I saw that figure going for so much and I also saw this policewoman figure went for about 10 quid I thought you know what I'll do this Doc 2 figure didn't go for much and that prisoner zero didn't go for hardly anything um but you know what I'll do I'll actually put these on for 24.99 I think that's free postage um and I thought you know what I'll try it that because We'll see, because a couple of her figures in here are pretty much worth that anyway. So, we'll see on that. I might need to split this bundle, though. I might need to maybe do Amy and the Doctor together for maybe about £10 plus postage on their own. And then maybe stick Little Amelia on for maybe 15 to 18 or something. Maybe not quite that 22, but like 15 to 18. And then, I don't know what I'd do with Prisoner Zero, to be honest. But I might split them off if, if they don't sell well as a bundle. But again, as I mentioned, I'm just trying this out. I'm seeing what works, seeing what doesn't work, etc. So, yeah, that's uh, that little bundle there. Quite cool looking, a little figure bundle there. And that is it. That is all the figure bundles. Now, as I say, I've got, some, I've got a box of figures in the other room. What I might do, we are on 26 minutes now. Oh, God, I've been wambling too much. Um... What I might do is I'll just quickly go and grab that figures and then I'm just going to show you the box, basically. May as well, so I'll do that now. Right, so I've, all, I've got the box up now, but I also wanted to mention, 
I've actually ta taken a couple of figures out of this bundle as well um, for someone as a Christmas present. Taken the Colin, Colin Baker figure out, which goes for about 12 quid, I believe. And I've also taken the Saran Jones out, which is the uh, basically the human uh, flesh version of the TARDIS. So essentially, I could have made you know an extra 20 quid on this bundle, but I ended up taking them out as a Christmas present for someone. So um, yeah, I just wanted to mention that as well. Um, and also, we've got quite a few more figures in there. I don't know how well you're going to see them. I'll try and tip them up a bit more. I don't know how well that's going to come in. But it's probably about another 20 figures or so in there. So I've got some more figures to bundle up there as well, um, which is brilliant. So obviously what I might do is when I get... Well, I've actually already got another bundle in the other room that I've not even opened up. Um, but when I get... Um, you know another bundle of these figures what i'll do is obviously um i might do some bundles that are a little bit better with these figures and some from the other lots um so yeah that might be a good idea to do that with these there's one i think there's one broken figure in here as well so i'll have to remove that um oh oh yeah i forgot as well <laughs> Oh, this is terrible. There's actually even more figures in the other room from this same bundle. Um, but they're actually... Well, no, actually, I think... No, actually, I have got most of them. There's only one other bundle. There's a bundle of Suntarans in the other room. But a couple of the feet aren't um, attached properly. I think that's quite a common uh, trouble with the Suntarans. Um, but if I can get the feet attached properly, I should be looking about 14 99 I've got like four of them. So I'm thinking of going, you know, 12 quid plus postage or maybe even 14 99 uh, you know, either free postage or plus postage. So yeah, there's actually those as well. So I'm pretty happy with this bundle for a first little purchase. And uh, yeah, I'm going to enjoy listing the rest of these and processing the rest of these. So with that being said, guys, I'll leave it there for this video. My voice is completely gone now. I've been talking for over an hour. And I've just done Thursday Talks. Can you believe that? I've just done Thursday Talks from quarter to one to quarter to two. And we're now at 20 past three and I've still been talking. I've been talking for two and a half, three hours now. Um, but anyway... So I'll leave it there, guys. Thank you very much for watching. If you did enjoy the video, please do give it a like. Subscribe if you haven't already. And I will be back very soon for another video. So I'll see you very soon, guys.